This week, I take a look at Project Passion, which just released to Steam. Does this passion project fall short? Stick around to find out. Hi, I'm Tom, and this is Adult Game Reviews. This week, I review the episodic AVN Project Passion by Classy Lemon. I've had Project Passion on my list for a while, and when I saw it was being released to Steam, I thought this was as good a reason as any to give it a shot, but I was not expecting what I got. But before we get into all that, let's give you a little overview. In Project Passion, you play the main character, also known as Cowboy or Gunslinger. You start on the planet Tartarus with your friend Kaylee and Vess. You're a mercenary who stole an object called a MacGuffin. I'm sorry. Sorry, I mean an amulet. You have SAC or the SAC, which is a Merc company that has been trying to get the amulet from you no matter how many of them you kill. Through a series of events, you build your own band of misfits and put together a crew to explore the galaxy. As an aside, I have a Patreon. I just released the second girlfriend review. This one's on Good Girl Gone Bad for my $10 and up patrons. My $5 patrons just got access to the first girlfriend review, What a Legend. Every week I add an exclusive Patreon section for my reviews, which goes more in depth than my YouTube reviews do. So check it out. Plus being a patron at any tier lets you join our Discord. We are Rowan, so stop in and say hi. Okay, let's get into the good. First of all, I was actually really impressed with the renders. Project Passion has animations and cutscenes. The animations could be a bit jerky, especially during the loot scenes, but I'm glad they weren't just static renders. The cutscenes, I wasn't expecting. It really added a lot to the immersion, and I was really impressed. Also, the cutscenes were fully voice acted, which I thought was brilliant. It's incredibly difficult to voice act an entire AVN, especially for a single developer, but this is a great way to add immersion to the story by doing it in small pieces. I bought some drinks. Figured you'd like some. What's your name? My name? They never asked for my name. Plus, I thought the voice acting was good for the most part. Not perfect, but very solid. Speaking of audio, there were sound effects, and the music was pretty great. The sound effects were sporadic, but good enough, and the music added depth and was usually placed really well. So, a big thumbs up for the audio and visuals. Next, the overall story was also engaging. I got real Tales from the Unending Void vibes, except Project Passion did it a little bit better in some ways. I thought the faces were better in Project Passion, and Project Passion was also funny. The humor took me off guard at times. Not every joke landed, but I thought it was surprisingly funny. Okay, shifting a little bit. Something that I thought was actually really subtle, but I felt was really good thing was how Project Passion was able to shift tones emotionally really quickly. I could go from laughing to tearing up really, really, really fast. I really liked how Project Passion used emotion. I know some people might consider the quick shifts in tone distracting, but I personally loved it. It also made the characters feel real, or at least you felt like every character was explored enough to give you a sense of who they are as people. Lastly, you have three dialogue options that you can upgrade, which are friendly, witty, and aggressive. Each of these three stats have three levels. In my playthrough, I was able able to get witty and friendly to level two. Not sure if it's possible to get all three options to level three. You also have levels with each of the romanceable options as well. I was able to get every possible romance option level. So in the first season of Project Passion, I think it fits nicely into the harem category. Plus, I really like the main character. He was likable, cool, and capable, but you know, still felt human. Okay, let's move on to the bad, but please like the video and subscribe if you want. Okay, so one of the first things that stood out to me was the writing was weirdly formal during the loot scenes. There were times where they were giving each other random compliments in the middle of, um... Well, this was weird. It wasn't exactly the worst part. The worst part is everyone would answer with a thank you in such a formal way. I just thought it felt so out of place for the actions and behaviors that were happening in that moment, if you get what I mean. I didn't notice any issues with the writing or dialogue in any other scenes, just the lewd ones. I will show some examples of this on my Patreon because I don't know, it just felt out of place. Next, the consistency of the animations or renders were questionable at times. You would have instances of great renders or animations, but then the movements could feel, you know, very off, like jerky or rigid. And and lastly, the loot content was very vanilla. I'm hoping that it gets less vanilla over time, but that is something to keep in mind. You also don't have the option to have a scene with every character in every chapter, so you could be waiting a little bit for your chosen girl, if you know what I mean. Okay, on to the weird. The only thing I have to put in the weird is the pacing could feel a little off at times. I really enjoyed how Project Passion could shift tones quickly. The downside of this is that you didn't really have a lot of time to settle into the story. You start the AVN and you're on the planet Tartarus, then you shift to your ship. The time building up to your ship felt like it took a long time, whereas when you were finally on your ship, things happened very quickly. Project Passion pacing felt slow and too quick at the same time. I was able to overlook this, but I could see some people not liking this aspect, which I imagine could feel a little jarring for some people, but that's going to be up to you. Overall, Project Passion surprised me a lot in that it did everything above average too great. The negatives didn't come close to outweighing the positives. I really enjoyed my time with Project Passion. I look forward to future seasons. Project Passion is at this moment right up there in the top Evians I've played this year. The only reason it's not at the top is the pacing, which I discuss a bit more in the Patreon version. So if you haven't seen my part two of the top Honey Select 
games available. You can check them out right here. Thanks again. Until next time.